If you're having trouble manifesting what you want, this video will help you. Whether it's manifesting a call from a specific person, more money, or changing the way you look, manifesting can be hard or easy. It really depends on your beliefs. One of the biggest obstacles to successful manifesting is limiting beliefs. These are negative thoughts and beliefs that we hold about ourselves and the world around us. Limiting beliefs can block us from receiving what we want because they create a mental and energetic barrier that prevent us from aligning with our desires. But what if you could change the way you viewed manifesting? For some people trying to manifest a specific person, it might bring up a lot of negative beliefs about not being good enough, or maybe there's a third person in the picture, or maybe the idea of free will. This video will present a totally different way of looking at manifesting. And that different viewpoint is about the idea of creation being complete, that all possible outcomes already exist, and that we are not creating anything by manifesting. Instead, we are moving to another reality where what we want is already done and we have it. That removes the idea that we are forcing a specific person to be with us or worrying about how we are going to manifest money, which both might bring up negative beliefs. When it comes to manifesting a call or a text from someone, there are different theories and perspectives on how it works. One perspective is that the manifestation of a call from someone is based on the principle of free will. According to this perspective, every person has free will to make their own choices and decisions, including whether to call someone or not. Therefore, when we set the intention to manifest a call from someone or a text, we are not forcing them to do anything against their will. Instead, we are using the power of our thoughts and energy to align with the possibility of them calling us while still respecting their free will and choices. Another perspective is that the manifestation of a call from someone involves jumping into another parallel universe where the desired outcome has already occurred. According to this theory, there are an infinite number of parallel universes and every possible reality exists in one of them. Therefore, when we set the intention to manifest a call from someone, we are aligning our thoughts and energy with the reality where the call has already occurred. In this perspective, the call is not necessarily based on free will, but rather on the fact that in another parallel universe, the person has already decided to call us. Ultimately, whether the manifestation of a call from someone is based on free will or jumping into another parallel universe may depend on your personal beliefs and understanding of how the universe works. However, it's important to approach manifestation with a sense of openness, curiosity, and respect for the free will of others. By focusing on our own thoughts and energy while still allowing others the freedom to make their own choices, we can increase the likelihood of manifesting our desired outcome while staying in alignment with the universal principles of balance and harmony. Now let's bring the law of assumption into the picture. The law of assumption states that whatever we assume to be true will eventually manifest in our reality. This means that if we assume that the specific person we want to hear from will call or text us, it will eventually become a reality in one of the parallel universes. To make this happen, you need to first believe that it is possible and then focus your thoughts on the assumption that the person will contact you. You can do this by visualizing the phone call or text message feeling the emotions of joy and excitement that come with receiving it, and living in the feeling of already having received it. This is the method that Neville Goddard used. The more you fully immerse yourself in this feeling, the more likely it is that the parallel universe where this event has occurred will begin to merge with your current reality. 
It is important to note that while the law of assumption can be a powerful tool for manifesting her desired, it is not a guarantee that the desired outcome will manifest in the exact way we want it to. But by practicing the law of assumption and focusing our thoughts and energy on what we want, we increase the likelihood of it becoming a reality. Whichever you believe, whether it's free will, jumping universes, or the law of assumption, the key is to impress the subconscious with what we want by repetition. And for me, what works is affirmations or subliminals. This is what has worked the best for me and why I love creating them on this channel. I have manifested so many different things using the law of assumption and the idea of parallel universes helped me get over the negative blocks I was putting up to stop my manifestations. Once I made that change, things seemed to manifest so much quicker for me. A way to explain this idea might be the concept of losing your keys and searching all over for them. And then at one point, finding the keys in the area you've searched for many times already. However, now the keys appear where you've already searched because you've jumped into a reality where the keys are where you have searched for them. So I hope this helps you. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel for more affirmations, meditations, and subliminals, as well as trainings on manifesting faster and easier than ever before.